Hello, YouTube friends. Let me say hello to all my friends. YouTube world. A little cup of coffee right here. Instant coffee, that is. We'll go over in the cabin. I'm gonna show you what I've been up to, and then uh, we'll come back over here, and I'm gonna show you what I've been up to here. <laughs> we had a heck of a mess to clean up right here. Yes, buddy. We got it all cleaned up, boo. All the dishes, everything. All right, now. We cleaned the whole entire cabin, or I did. I even mopped the floor. We washed everything in here. Every dish, everything. And as you know, there was some wild critters running around here. We are gonna get that out of here. That's kind of dangerous to have those in here. I don't know what we're gonna do with those, but uh, we gave all the cast iron. Every bit of cast iron that we have, I think there's nine pieces, including that one back there. We gave them a bath today. Man, we have pulled around with this joker. I think that's a 1987 model. Worked good. But I cannot get it lit. But that's okay. Now this is what I want to talk to you about. We watched a YouTube video. And uh, on the YouTube video... This is called a Swedish fire log. We do have to make another cut in it. And they made it look easy. On the video. But I, I'm, I'm thinking that this is not going to be as easy to light as what they make it look like on the video. I'd like to know what their secret is for uh, for getting that lit. I'm sure it burns good once they get it going, but that's the uh, that's the problem getting it going. I got a feeling that that's going to be quite difficult. But we'll go in the barn here, and I'll show you another something I seen on another video. And before we go any further, hold on a second here. $12.50 for one gallon. My, bye bye. Somebody's making a lot of money off of that fuel there. But, I guess, like everything else, it's went up in price. But, man, a lie. $12.50 for one gallon. But at the uh, other video that I watched, and I think uh, somebody made it look a lot easier than what it really is. This has been one of the hardest blacksmithing jobs that I have ever done right here. They made it look easy like they filed that in there. Of course, you can do anything when you edit a video apparently. But I'm here to tell you that that hole is not easy to put in that amble. 
I mean, it was easier to drill than it is to file it in there. We've almost got it. But actually, we're taking a break on it. I am burnt out on this thing. But uh, probably next week we'll get it going and maybe we'll make a hardy tool for it. And as you know, we like old school, but we like the modern twist. We got us some electric in here and got us a, uh, a light up there. And by design, we went and got another light to put over the stove. Really, really works well in here. Yeah, and we like that modern twist with that fan too. But uh, this is our latest addition to the cabin. This is a uh, clothesline. <laughs> Ain't that pretty cool? Yeah, uh, we got a hook system there that uh, we're gonna unhook it, but uh, come in pretty handy. Yeah, we made that rascal. Cleaning in here, boiled water. Everything got scalded. Worst than scalded. You know the Swedish fire log, we seen a video. Several of them. People drilling holes in them and uh, taking a chainsaw to them. We have not ever lit one of those. Uh, we have some friends of ours who have. And uh, every one of them told me they're not easy to get going. So we get a break in the weather here. I'm going to try to get that up and burn and see if I can or not. And uh, again, i seen another video, a couple of videos, where someone put a hardy hole in their ammo. <laughs> they made it look easy now. I don't know what I was thinking on either one of those, but... Uh, that hardy hole has just been a nightmare. It's not as easy. You know, file that out. It's just, and I've sharpened the files. Man, I mean, it's like that thick. But eventually we will get it in there. It's just gonna take a little while. We're, we're kind of burned out on it right now. We've been working in here, cleaning this up for a couple of days. We've got a, we're gonna put a door up here. Trying to keep the critters from getting down in here, and uh, we got some tubs. We got rid of a lot of stuff that was in here, and we're going to start storing it in, in Dipper. But if you got a cabin out out in the ponies, or this is not in the ponies, and you can see what they'll do here. But uh, and uh, the mice. They were under the cabinet. Man, they made a mess. I think I trapped four of those, four or five. And I think we're rid of those now. But uh, other than that, that's about it. <laughs> Just wanted to update you on that Swedish fire log and uh, that am. It's not been easy either one of them. Let me say God bless to you. Thanks for coming by the channel and watching the video. And we'll catch you in the next one.